Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and we're going to have a look at the music video freeze frame effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Shout out to Amir G for requesting this music video freeze frame effect. Basically, how do you freeze the frame and keep the music playing in the background? For this tutorial, I am using footage from Mastering Multi-Camera Techniques. If you haven't seen this book by Mitch Jacobson, you should. It's absolutely incredible. It talks about uh, multi-camera techniques in all the different editing programs out here, and you get a uh, DVD with this footage on it. Here I've got a, a, um, a concert with Paul McCartney, and I just used that footage to cut together a music video. The effect we're going to use is inherent in every single clip by default. You can stop a clip from playing. You can freeze any clip without an effect. It's just a setting that we turn on and off. A couple of tips here. First of all, we're going to lock the music track so we don't accidentally cut that track or move that track. In, in music video, that, that music track is... Um, everything follows that track, so you don't want to accidentally ripple delete and move that around. The next tool we're going to use is the rolling edit tool, not the trim tool or the ripple trim tool. Both of those can cause problems. Trim tool can cause gaps. A uh, ripple trim can change the, the position of the video. We're not changing the position of the video but we can change the start and end times of obviously of camera angles and the start and end time of the freeze frame. Let's go have a look. So let's jump into this area down in here and let's find something. Maybe when he puts his hand up right there. Right now I've got this clip here and there's an edit point here. Oh, sorry, let's go lock our music track so that we can't accidentally move that or cut that. So this is just a clip on its own and I've um, cut this into the video so we're going between all these different camera angles and let's freeze frame when he puts his hand up. So to do that we're gonna have to cut this and I'm just going to tap the C key for my razor tool and cut this. I could have also pressed control K on Windows, command K on Mac. Now just by doing that you'll notice there's no difference. It's just the same clip. But if we right click on this clip and choose frame hold options, not insert hold segment. If we do this it's going to actually It'll set the frame hold options for us for a default of five seconds and it's going to shift all the video down so it will be out of sync with the music. So don't use the um, insert frame hold segment. Instead, we're going to frame hold options. The segment is the duration of the clip that's already there. That's the piece, the segment. So by default, when you choose frame hold options, it's set to source time code. If we change it to in point, watch this clip change automatically. Boom. It's changed to the in point of where that cut is. So now when it gets to that point, it holds and then it continues playing on the next one. So let's watch that. Believe it or not, that's all you need to do. You're turning that off. Let's go turn that off again, just so you can see. Let's go turn that off. If I turn frame hold off, now it's just the regular clip. That's it. You're simply turning it on, and it makes sense to cut the video and set the frame hold options at the end point. Now let's talk about the rolling edit tool and what that does. So like I said, the music down here is locked, so we don't want to wreck that music. So let's go find another edit point here. How about right there? All right, right when the drummer is coming in. Right there. Right click, frame hold options, 
in point OK. So now we've got that. Boom. He holds that. OK. So if we grab the rolling edit tool and click, you'll see a thick red line. Don't get that confused with the, the trim tool, which is a thin line. OK? And what this is going to do, it's going to basically, it, it will take the tail of this one and the head of this one and move it over. It's just doing that automatic trimming that you would normally do. If you roll the trim, you're not shifting the position of the clips. Shifting the position makes the music out of sync and they won't be playing in sync to the music. Shifting the rolling at it keeps everything in sync and changes where that freeze frame starts. So now let's have a look. So it starts there. All we have to do is grab that rolling edit tool, move it down to here, and he starts at a different time. Okay? All right, now let's get a little bit creative. So that's, that's the freeze frame video effect, no problem. But I wanted to take this up a notch, and I, I found a segment in this clip where Paul McCartney's um, on a medium shot, and we can see him, and I thought, what if I dissolved other black and white images in there? Have a look at this. Okay, how do we do that? You know what? It's not that hard at all. First of all, I have my hold frame right here. So it goes to the hold frame and it also desaturates. And for that, in my effects controls, I've just added the Lumetri color effect, the Lumetri color effect and changed the saturation value. So the saturation goes from 100% to 0% because the images I'm bringing in are black and white so I thought let's turn him black and white and darken him a bit and then dissolve the other images in and you can see the exposure here I've also changed so if I turn this on and off you'll see he's darker and he's black and white now we've got these other images that are fading in this is a sequence on its own. If I double click on this, you'll see a bunch of Photoshop files that are dissolving and they're also increasing their scale. It's a fake little camera push in each one. If we look at one of them, you'll see there is scale information. So I'm going from 100% scale to 105% at the end of the clip. And I have a, a little dissolve. And the background, if we turn on the transparency grid, the background is transparent. So if we go to Photoshop and look at this, this is a Photoshop file with all four images masked out and placed on the screen. And another thing I did was I put some guides down here, a relative position of, of where Paul McCartney's eyes were so I could line those up. That was, that one, that one, the, the, the eyes aren't lined up and that's mostly because the head position was so different. It made, I think it, it, it blended better with the head dissolving and not the eyes. So it just looked better. I tried it different ways. So you leave all of these on and you bring this in as a sequence. So that's a Photoshop file with each one of these coming in as a sequence. And I'll give you a, a show you a tutorial on that. I drop that sequence into this sequence and you can see that it just morphs over top, dissolves over top, and then we fade back into him. So there you go, Amir. Hopefully uh, this gives you a, a bit of uh, uh, an idea of how to do the freeze frame effect. 
you know, the other ones that I was showing you is pretty darn simple. Just chop it up and set that, that frame hold option. But then you could also get more creative as I did in here. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to Video Revealed, hey, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us um, a little more, take, a, take it up a notch. Uh, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you and your videos looking the best.